An international team led by Dr. Masaaki Otsuka has detected the rare carbon molecule known as fullerene, or C60, in a dying star called M111. The result was obtained using state-of-the-art ground and space-based telescopes. This is the story of buckyballs floating in space. Interstellar space is filled with solid particulates, which astronomers simply call dust. A large fraction of this dust is in the form of carbonaceous grains, which are formed from carbon atoms that were originally produced by nuclear fusion in the cores of stars similar to our sun. This dust is then returned to interstellar space when these stars die, and it then becomes the catalyst for the formation of the next generation of stars. It is therefore important to understand the abundance and composition of this dust and the process by which it is returned to interstellar space so that we can understand the chemical evolution of galaxies. Dr. Otsuka said, yeah, the origin of C60 and P is the same. The C60 is very stable and strong structure. And uh, some uh, materials were uh, shut in these cages. In regions near where stars have ended their life in a supernova explosion, we find evidence of some of the fundamental building blocks of life, like molecules known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs for short. We also find PAH molecules in meteorites that strike the Earth. PAHs are believed to be a key component in the origin of life in the universe, and NASA scientists have speculated that DNA might be formed from PAH molecules. Both PAHs and fullerene C60 are believed to be formed from amorphous carbon in the interstellar medium. However, while PAH molecules are very common, C60 appears to be quite rare.